What up YouTube, it is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. Now today as you can tell from the thumbnail as well as the title of the video, that is correct guys, we are unboxing the Air Jordan 12 Playoffs. Now guys, this is an OG Retro 12, so hey man, big release. So big that they actually mass produced quite a bit of these sneakers. I'm not sure the stock numbers, but I know there were a lot. As I myself was able to snag several pairs of the shoe, had, had, had to have them. I remember seeing these back in the day and I was never able to get things like this, guys. So hey, this was my opportunity and I had to capitalize. Now with this being an OG, this is a sneaker Michael Jordan did wear in the 96, 97 playoffs and the Bulls actually won the championship. So, hey, it's a big deal. Now, I know the sneaker community, OG sneakerheads, put this shoe up here on the pedestal. As it were, the new age, more hype V slash resellers put it down here on the pedestal. Yeah, so we're like this. We're way off balance. Me, personally, I'm one of those OG sneakerheads, and hey, it's up here if you ask me. But comment below and let me know what you guys think about this sneaker. As far as market value and things like that, uh, it's not quite that high as of now, but I do believe that this shoe will shoot up down the line. For those who care about that don't care about that you just want the shoe you just want to rock your sneakers hey i'm all for it but if you're wondering if this is something you can make a quick flip off of or if you should hold it i would definitely suggest holding this because air jordan 12s typically don't shoot up like air jordan 1s and air jordan 4s but over time they do gradually move up they don't always go extremely high but in a case like this with an og sneaker it's probably going to be as high as you're going to get with an air jordan 12 on the resale market value so definitely hold on to this one and get as many pairs as you can for retail if you want to hold and sell later. Just a tip. However, guys, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Now, I do want to keep this one simple and sweet as I am a couple of days late past release day because, hey, man, I was super duper busy picking up pairs, enjoying the weekend, all of that good stuff, man. So I'm just now getting this video up, but I do appreciate you guys rocking with me and getting my take on this shoe. However, with no further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so we got the box here in hand, and I do want to give a big shout out to Hibbit Sports for the W. I also want to give a shout out to Finish Line for the W, JD Sports for the W, Foot Locker for the W, and Champs for the W. Yeah, hey man, a lot of W's. Hey, I was blessed. Got lucky. Although I hear some people saying this shoe is sitting in their retail stores now. I wouldn't doubt it. Like I said, a lot of pairs was made. Doesn't mean that the shoe isn't a good shoe. It just means, hey, for consumers, this is a good thing. For resellers, not so much. However, guys, here we have our box, the standard Air Jordan 12 box with the black on the bottom, orange on the top, or red, or whatever color that is. And we get that little Jordan text there. On the back of the box, as you can see on this one, I do have some damage, a hole in the back of this one, but hey, it's all good. I got a few other pairs and they are all good. But we do get that quality inspired by the greatest player ever text right there, just so iconic. On one side of the box, we get a jump man on the top of the lid we get a big jump man smack dab in the center on that cardboard color and on the other side of the box we get another jump man with our size sticker and the size sticker reads air jordan 12 retro the colorway is black varsity red white this is a men's us size 10 personal size for me in the air jordan and again no suggested retail value on the box however guys this sneaker did retail at 210 dollars 
but Jordan brand is in the process of updating their prices on the Air Jordans and they haven't been putting the prices on the boxes because some of the retail prices when these shoes were originally set to release were cheaper than what they actually released at. For instance, I believe these were initially 200 and then out the blue, they kind of just shot up to 210. Now here's the thing, I think some of the retailers did change their prices to the 210 price point as well as Nike did on sneakers. However, some retailers didn't. So I think the shoes may have sold for 200 and some may have sold for 210. And I'm not gonna cap a couple of pairs I do think I did get for 200. Well, the other pairs I did get hit for the 210. And so to cut down on that confusion of the retails, so to cut down on the confusion of that suggested retail value, Nike has not been putting the retail price tag on the boxes lately. I think that will change coming up here in the near future, but as for now, it's kind of one of those situations where you either get lucky or you don't. However, let's see what we have under the lid. All right, flipping the lid up on this one, guys, as you can see, we get our standard cardboard underneath. I don't see a lot number or anything like that on the lid. Let me get my receipt out of the way. Flipping our tissue paper up, as you can see, we do get that brown tissue paper. And let's go ahead and get the shoe out. And there we have it, guys, the Air Jordan 12 Playoffs. A very, very clean OG sneaker. Dope, glad to have this sneaker in the collection, guys. Let's go ahead and do a quick 360 on it. All right, man, this shoe to me is amazing. The color blocking on the shoe, the colorway on the shoe, hey, it's just dope. It's where they still kept that Chicago Bulls colorway, but they toned down the red just enough to give it a different feel where you get primarily black and then hints of white, but also a small hint of red. Just clean and subtle, digging it a lot. However, let's go ahead and go over the shoe here in depth, starting with our outsole. As you can see, we do get an all white rubber outsole. On up to this foam piece here, that's sort of like basketball texture. We do get white as well. Then on up to the upper, we do get some white leather here in that reptile type texture. As you all know, this leather is a little bit stiff. It's not the soft leather, but hey man, this shoe has a lot of structure to it. So you don't want soft leather on this or this will be very, very creased up. You want a solid structure on your upper. So hey, that leather, I'm 100% okay with. And we also get our little Jordan emblem here in silver with the Jordan text. Just very, very clean and subtle. Just gives it a nice complimentary premium look to the shoe. Just reflecting off of this white with a little bit of silver, digging that a lot. Back to the rear portion of our midsole, we do get some black foam. And I think it kind of merges pretty well with the upper of the shoe. As you can see, it does have just a little bit of a shine to it, just enough to blend well with the leather on the upper. And about that leather, as you can see on the upper, we do get all black leather, tumbled leather at that, very, very clean and textured. And we also get black stitching. So on some of the Air Jordan 12s, you may have noticed they did zigzag stitching. Well, this is an OG and this is a straight line stitching. And it's also in all black, so you can't really see it. So pretty clean, digging that a lot. Now, a point that I did want to make about the leather on this shoe, guys. Uh, it feels pretty good. I mean, again, this shoe has a lot of structure. It's not extremely soft, but behind there, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of padding or something like that as to where you're not going to feel the actual pushiness of the leather because, again, the shoe needs to be structured to look like the shape of a foot and not just collapse because the leather is so soft. But the point that I did want to make about the leather is there is some inconsistency with the shine on the leather. Now some of these pairs are glossy. You can go look at some other shoe tuber reviews out there and you will see some glossy pairs. This one however what I have in hand happens to have matte leather. So hey man that is a big discrepancy. I haven't really looked at any reviews on this shoe so I'm sure some people pointed that out. I'm not 100% sure but I wanted to point it out because I noticed it. Some of my pairs are very glossy. That's to where this one is more of a matte look. You don't see a lot of gloss. I mean, you may see a little bit of a shine and it might not do it justice in the camera, but in hand, this looks a lot more matte. Maybe if I get back a little bit, I don't know. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. But just know that there are some super duper glossy ones out there. And me personally, I'm a little bit more accustomed to the matte one. Because when I first saw these and I saw a little bit of gloss on some of the images, I'm like, is that how the OG was? I didn't think it was, but Hey, I don't know. Maybe it was, and maybe I'm just tripping. But now that I get this in hand and I see how it should be, kind of makes me wonder where's the gloss coming from and why? Why does it look like it's been dipped in some grease or something and hardened over? I don't know, go figure. But comment below, guys. Let me know if you all have the same issue, if you have multiple pairs, or if you have a shiny pair, you have a matte pair, you like the shiny ones, you like the matte ones. Comment all of that below and let me know, guys. As you know, I'm always in the comments responding. Anyways, back to our regularly scheduled program. All right, moving on up 
to our eyelids here, as you can see, we do get these metallic like eyelids, but it is plastic, it's not actual metal. But it looks like actual metal, and we do get jump mans on those eyelids pretty, pretty clean. That silver is a little bit different than that silver, so it's not like a perfect match or anything, but I did want to point that out. But it still does blend well, and I'm digging it. However, guys, other than that, that pretty much wraps it up for the lateral side of the shoe. Moving along. On to the medial side of the shoe, as you can see, we get a similar look as we got on the lateral side. However, on that emblem, we don't get Jordan text on the medial side of the shoe. But here on our outsole, you can see a little bit of black coming up from the outsole, which we'll go over here shortly. We also get more of that tumble leather as well as our metallic eyelets. But other than that, that pretty much wraps it up for the medial side of the shoe. Moving along. Taking a look at the shoe from the top down, starting with our outsole here, we get that white outsole. Now you can see a little arm and ball coming up on that Jumpman logo in black, very clean, which we'll go over here shortly. We get that white leather wrapping around our toe as well as we get that tumble black leather here on our toe. We also get tumble black leather going up our tongue, black skinny rope laces in place, and going down our tongue, we do get white two, three text stitched, very nice, as that is always iconic to the Air Jordan 12. And then on up to the top of our tongue, we do get a red stitch Jumpman, varsity red at that, very clean. And then going around the top of our tongue, we do get a little bit of felt like material on this sock liner or tongue liner, should I say. And you can see that from the front of the shoe. So this isn't a case where that's hidden. I haven't really paid much attention to the Air Jordan 12 as to whether that is not revealed on some pairs, but I think all of them pretty much come like that. So unlike the Air Jordan 3, where you couldn't see that, then they made it where you could see it, then they brought it back to where you couldn't see it. Same case with the Air Jordan 4. Now some of those have sort of been getting that Air Jordan 3 look where you can't see that back of the tongue liner like you can see on this right here. Good thing it is black because that doesn't show well at all. It just blends with the tongue. So, hey, it is what it is. Taking a look at the shoe from the back, as you can see, our white on our outsole. Red 2-3 right there, looking very dope. And I'll get a little closer so you can check that out. Then we get our Jordan pull tab going up the back with that red box up top with a black jump man. Very clean. Then we get our Jordan text in the back with quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Love that tag, man. That is just so iconic to the Air Jordan 12. Dope ass look from the back of the shoe. But that pretty much wraps it up moving along. All right, super duper tough to see the interior of the shoe, but I'll go ahead and state it here, guys. Again, we do get that black felt like sock liner, very comfy. Off in there, you can see we get our side sticker on the back of the tongue. We get a black insole with a red Jumpman painted on there, and we also get a cardboard shoe tree. So nothing extremely special about the interior of the shoe, just a classic look. And last but not least, guys, onto the outsole of the shoe, one of the dopest outsoles on the Air Jordan. I like it a lot, man. Black herringbone traction pods here in the rear, as well as we get up front. We get our little two, three there in red, which is upside down. There you go, maybe that helps. Pretty clean, just a hint of red, just like we got on our tongue. Hey, it goes a long way. Then we get that black jump man right there wrapping up over the toe. As you can see there, from what I mentioned, we go over this shortly. There you have it. For those of you who've never had a 12 on the 12, hey, it's a jump man right there, pretty cool. But then here we get this vented like area that I mentioned from the medial side that you can see just kind of wrapping up, which is our carbon fiber plate underneath there in all black very very clean something about that is just dope to me man it looks like a car vent or something just clean but anyways guys that wraps it up for the outsole of the shoe again one of my favorite outsoles on the air jordan 12 just clean as hell but do expect it to get dirty if you have a pair as we do get a lot of white on the outsole however guys that pretty much wraps it up you just saw it right here on all about the sneakers the air jordan 12 playoffs a very classic iconic og sneaker man just fire in general subtle and nice glad to have this one in the collection guys now comment below again let me know how you guys feel about the sneaker especially after you just saw it right here in that 4k quality on the channel man hey i just had to throw that out there 4k quality hey i'll put a lot into the videos guys so you guys can see the best quality in the video details texture all of that good stuff man i do it for you guys so i did want to point that out in case you didn't know y'all shoot my videos in 4k the better the display you have tv phone whatever the better you'll see the sneaker so hey man just check it out if you haven't already go look at the 4k tv 4k phone 4k computer and check out how the content is let me know guys i'm always looking for ways to improve but again did you cop this or did you drop this because like i said some people were up here with it and some people were down here with it 
but I'm glad they retro this sneaker, man. Glad to actually have this in the collection as I do love Air Jordan 12s. Hey, man. First OG I have in the collection. Can't go wrong with it. However, guys, again, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and share button, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Now, when you get a chance, head over to IG and follow me at All About the Sneaker, spelled exactly the way it is here on the channel with a Z on the end instead of an S. I greatly appreciate it. But I do want to thank you guys, as always, for tuning into the channel, rocking with your boy, giving the video a thumbs up. Up, sharing the video sharing the channel and most importantly subscribing to the channel as it does go a long way and help the algorithm it helps the channel grow can't say thank you enough guys but that is all i have for you guys today on this episode until the next episode keep keeping it all about the sneakers but once again it is your boy all about the sneakers signing off until the next episode i will catch you guys later salute i'm out